Hello again and welcome back to our third chapter. This is now the tenth talk and uh, we're going to be concerned with what the information is exactly that I take from the music of the past and how do I sift it out. We're going to have to approach material very clinically. This doesn't mean any disrespect to the music. This will never be destroyed, but we have to be prepared to take the elements that the composers were using if we want to use them in our own work. The first thing is establishing the key of any phrase, and the things we look for are one, four, five, and one. So this is a very simple exercise, and really it's a good idea to be able to do this in all keys. Major and minor. If you can manage all of the keys with major and minor, uh, the other scales will more or less look after themselves because they don't tend to obey the rules of 1-4-5 anyway. The simplest songs are probably the ones that we learnt as children. I'm deliberately doing very simple harmony here. I'm not suggesting this is the best way to play them, but I want you to be clear about exactly just what harmonies were being used. Just I was very bold and dared to go into the sub-dominant for a second. Modulating to F major but just coming straight back. The modulation was caused by the C7 using a B flat and there's no B flat in C major so I know I've just gone very briefly into F major but I only use it as a, a jumping board to get back home. Songs in minor keys too. You'll notice that minor keys have a tendency to modulate towards their relative majors.
classical composers sometimes use folk, folk songs or children's songs to mark a special effect. Beethoven can't resist the tendency just to move a little bit more outside the children's sphere to the relative minor and then coming back by the dominant of the dominant to his own C major. doesn't quite fit any of our definitions. It's actually a changing note, changing out of the harmony. The G is in the harmony before it, but it's not in the melody. Of material you really ought to be collecting from your own favourite composers of the past. Always looking for one, four, five. It's amazing how often it turns up. Bye for now.